Back to the butt. Back to the butt, back to reality. I don't remember the song exactly. That's not how it goes. <laughs> that is not how it goes at all. Work last night was crazy. Hey, what is going on, Mr. Rumpus? I just started a new project, my man. Good morning. You start painting the butt, Rumpus shows up. No surprise. Complete coincidence? Mm-hmm. Sure, 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 Rumpus. I think I'm gonna do quite a few passes of this. Maybe like three? Because I quite like the effect. Um, I don't know if it's that noticeable on stream, but you can kind of see a little bit more of a, a bright color appearing there on the skin. I think it looks nice. Passes are quick anyways. I'm having some kind of allergic reaction. Your eyes are all puffy? It's probably the stream. It's probably the live stream, Rumpus. Is there anybody watching with cats? Oh wait, fuck. Rumpus. Yeah, maybe he's got an allergic reaction to Twitch chat. I don't know. Oh, there's a little part of the skin that is visible, guys. We gotta, we gotta paint the little part. You're allergic to Twitch chat? That does not surprise me. You're allergic to non-subs, aren't you, Rumpus? That's, that's gotta be it, dude. Non-subscribers. I don't know, man. It just does something to the man. <laughs> Ugh. You're allergic to the pores. <laughs> we don't call them pores. We call them non-subs. Remember? God, we talked about this. You have a good one, Taco Man. See, Taco Man's leaving now. You'll probably feel better soon, Rumpus. Trying to catch the edges. We're just brightening up some of the parts of the skin though. Does that look good? camera is a little bit yellower than it is in real life. I'm pretty happy with how this one has been built though. I don't see any mold lines really anywhere. 
Maybe little parts here and there, but very little. I think I can see them because I kind of, like I can sometimes notice a little bit of it. I think it's because I built the thing. I've noticed that as well in other minis when I've seen other people paint them. I'm like, ha, I remember there's a mold line right over there. But on minis that I've never built myself, you're like, oh no, it's okay. This mini actually, like all of the ones that I um, that I have like put together of miniatures that Games Workshop released over the last year or two. So this is one of them. They have really done a good job hiding a lot of those mold lines. You know, like for example, on this big boy, there's a fucking mold line going straight over his knee. I'm pretty sure there's somebody at Games Workshop that is absolutely disgusted by that in modern day and time, because it is just not a good place to put those. I, I did feel that, that's the thing, Manadar. I should have done a, a better job. I'm not very familiar with... Uh, so I used some putty to fill up that gap. But... Um, I should have done a better job, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, so we're leaving the yellow in the deepest parts. And we're taking a more bright area or bright color in the areas above it. Figuring out to clean up mold lines is one of the next things for you. In general, you do want to try and like spend a second on them, I think. Um, I spent quite a bit of time on this one, even though there weren't that many. But because I want to try and do a really good job on this mini, I figured we'll, you know, we'll spend some extra time. Plus it's kind of fun sometimes. I know a lot of people hate the building part of things, or some people love building of parts, but... Um, yeah, I quite like building. Can't complain. I think it's worth spending a little bit of time on cleaning up the different sections, but some people don't think so. It depends as well on what kind of quality you're trying to paint, right? Like, I, I don't really care about playing the tabletop game, so it's a little different, I think. Most of the stuff you're buying right now is pre-primed? Oh, really? Interesting. Wait, what do you what do you buy that's usually pre-primed? Whiskits D and D. Those come pre-primed? Interesting, okay. Cool, I didn't know that. I've not heard of things being pre-primed, but I guess I'm deep in the, the, the Warhammer uh, thingamajig at this point. Oh, 
I use the back of like a, a little hobby knife that I um, that I use for like clearing out all of the different. Uh, so I have this this knife that I quite like actually. I got I saw this one uh, recommended on Reddit. This is just a. Um, it's a hobby knife by a brand called Olfa, apparently. I don't know. It's a Japanese brand. But basically, the front of it is very sharp, obviously, but I use the back of it uh, to scrape away little lines. And sometimes the front of it's like a bit much, but I use that to clean up most of it. And then I have some, just some good old sandpaper. This is very fine sandpaper, which kind of works. Um, 2000 grit, I guess. I'm not exactly sure. I actually need to get some new because this one is kind of uh, kind of done. But anyways, just be careful with those loco. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, be careful with blades. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of shading. We're gonna add a little bit of shading with. Some light tone. Now I've never used this paint before other than on feathers on my previous miniature. I don't think the pictures they take, uh, yeah, are photoshopped. I, I don't think so. Maybe the background images or something, if there's like a little bit of like a a little bit of fluff in the background, they might Photoshop that, but uh, I'm gonna just hit it real quick again, guys, with the blow dryer. You have to go to the hospital at 1am. Oh shit. Oh shit, you actually were busy preparing a miniature and you cut yourself at one in the morning? Damn. Yeah, at some point I guess you can become a little bit complacent or something, right? You just don't pay as much attention as you usually do. <sighs> okay, so the build videos that I watched of this miniature, the painting videos that is, they use a paint called Seraphim Sepia from Games Workshop. I've watched like three of them and they all use the same paint. I don't have that one, but I have Light Tone, which supposedly is a reasonable alternative. So we'll give it a shot. Unless somebody in the chat shouts at me, he's like, Loco, no, 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 no. We're gonna cover the entire skin. Fingers crossed. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Wanna cover this over all of the flesh, but also the hair. So this is a very um, thin paint. I don't want it to pull anywhere. But since obviously it will settle in recesses because it is very thin, it's gonna automatically accumulate there and make it a little darker and create a nice bit of shading that way, which is kind of sweet. This is actually the first time I'm using a wash from the Army, paint, Army Painter on a project, other than like, I, I did it on the feathers on the slam, but that barely counted. Because those aren't even visible. They're like, they're like behind the throne. It seemed to work. From what I understand, these have like a longer working time than the shade paints from Citadel, which sounds kind of nice. Because sometimes the shade paints from Citadel kind of... I 
I don't know, they, uh, they stop working a little quick and I, I don't love that. Okay. Gonna enter them or add them right here to all of the mains. I may do a second coat on the mains. But we'll see what it looks like when it's done. Yeah, it adds so much depth so quickly. It's awesome. Noticeable, very noticeable. four white pyramid in Twitch chat, man. You call them triangles? These are pyramids, Mr. Echo Steel. Jeez Louise. Technically, obviously an, a triangle is accurate, but Everybody knows. <laughs> Dang. All right, all right, all right. I like this paint, it's good. At least it applies really nicely. The only downside is that it doesn't come in those pots. We have to use dropper bottles, guys. What? Everybody usually loves the Games Workshop pots, no? You love this mini? Uh, this is the Harbinger of Decay. It's almost like the Harbinger of Pestilence. You were close, Einfach. Yeah, very close. <laughs> yeah, it's super cool. I've been, um... I've been admiring it ever since they released it, and I figured, you know what, it's about time we give it a shot ourselves. So I'm gonna try my best and paint something nice. That's the plan anyways. Yo, Dialan! How are you doing, dude? Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome to those of you from Dialan's channel. Hope you're feeling a bit better, man. You were saying you were sick a few days ago, right? Did you make your chat sick? Did you tell them to sit six feet away from their monitors? Come on, Dylan, don't tell me you didn't tell them that. You're a slanesh boy, no Nurgle stuff for you. Nurgle is awesome though, mate. What, 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 what do you mean? You're feeling way better today? Nice, dude. I started painting a new miniature today, dude. Always uh, an exciting moment. 
I'm gonna try and make this one my best mini yet. That's the goal. Do you wanna be the judge of it, Dylan, when I'm done? <laughs> the toad is done. You will judge it? Holy shit. The toad on the throne is done, yes. I will show it in a minute. Let me just finish applying the wash all over the skin. You're playing Chaos Knights in 40K? And the image is a 15 meter high war machine. I'm gleaming pink, just strikes me. Are you doing them in bright pink? You got your own color scheme. Or is there an actual faction that is bright pink? I like the idea of a bright pink war machine. Always harsh criticism, Dylan, always. None of this soft criticism bullshit, no. I will, okay, good, good, good. Please tell me where I suck. I mean, first off, I have to finish the miniature. I have to actually paint it because we just started, but you know, Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We've done some base coating. We're gonna add more green into the mix, especially on the mains, that's the plan. I quite like it actually, this is kind of nice. I was thinking about doing a second coat on the skin, but I'm not so sure that I will. There's a bubble in each ear. Okay, before I can do the next step though, we'll have to let this dry fully. And I would prefer not blasting this with the uh, the hair dryer. Maybe when it's almost dry, but... Yeah, I can show you guys the, the, the toad on the throne. Uh, where is it? Toad on the throne. I think it turned out pretty well. <sighs> uh, same, Dylan. I think this one is so cool. It is such a cool miniature. I've been eyeing it for a long while, and I think I can do a decent job now after, you know, painting for a little bit, but... Here's the toad on the throne. This is m far more colorful than anything I've painted. <laughs> I tried to make it a lot more colorful, but I probably could have gone even more extreme than that. But I do think this one turned out pretty nice. I am, um... Let me zoom in the camera a little bit. I'm especially happy with the toad itself. I think the toad itself is, uh... I'm especially happy, happy with the feather in the middle of the toad, uh, the, the toad's crown. I think that middle feather may be the nicest thing I've painted so far. <laughs> I spent about an hour painting one feather, which is not, you know, I know that's not crazy, but the feather in the middle, I, I'm quite, I'm quite, yeah. Quite, quite, quite pleased with. <laughs> Look, do you know where that model's inspiration comes from? This one? No. Or you mean the Harbinger of the King? Oh, not the slant, the Harbinger? Um, no, I do not know what the inspiration for the Harbinger is. Should we know the lore of this guy? Maybe I should know the lore of this guy, I don't know. Frank Vrazetta's artwork? Okay, let me have a look at that. Um, I wanna let this dry before I do the next step. 
I'm just wondering if I've touched every part of it. Hold up. Just double checking if I've missed any sections that the wash should have been on. Um, I want to do the hair and then also the tail and then the legs as well, actually. Now, uh, Frank Frazetta. Frank Frazetta artwork. Harbinger of Decay. I don't know anything, guys. That's basically what I need you to know. The miniature is called the Death Dealer. Death Dealer Frank Frazetta. Mmm, a fantasy painting by American artist Frank Frazetta. It depicts a menacing armor-clad warrior with a horned helmet. Ah, cool. I mean, that doesn't really look very much like the Harbinger of Decay, other than a guy on a horse. But that is... <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something. Because the horse is half skeleton, or like a bird and stuff, and the weapon's very different, and the helm is very... Everything's very different, but... Ah, stop it, Wikipedia. Oh, now it looks a little bit more like it though. A statue of the Death Dealer in Texas. Yeah, yeah, it's in inspiration, that's cool. So does it, does it say that anywhere? How do you know that it's the inspiration though? Did the artist mention it? I actually kind of wish that um, Games Workshop was more transparent with the people that worked on making these miniatures. Because this is obviously like sculpting this and preparing it. And like, you know, this this is a, a, an entire team that works on this, right? Like this is a lot, of, a lot of effort to put together. Like it's not like you can just decide one morning to make a miniature and then call it a day. Maybe they are available and I've never actually seen the names of any of the people that worked on this. It would be kind of nice to know. Um, how long do you reckon this, uh, this is going to take to dry, guys? That's my main question. It's probably going to take a little bit, eh? I want to do another dry brush on top of this here again in a moment. But it needs to be fully dry before I do so. Oh, mate, you can you can always give feedback on me, Dylan. I know that some people are very touchy about these sort of things, but... Uh, if you have anything you noticed on the toad immediately, you're like, oh, Loka, you idiot. I'm always open to feedback. With anything, by the way. Streaming, gaming, content, painting. Anything. I will just unfriend you on Discord if you say something that I don't like. <laughs> Immediately. I'll ban you from the stream. I'll. G <laughs> That's what I do, yeah. Get the fuck no. I need this stream to be an echo chamber for only nice things about me. no no <laughs> no I'm just joking. You can uh, you can always uh... criticism is always always welcome. You don't want to be unfriended on Discord. <laughs> Limited one-time feedback offer. No, this goes for anybody, man. It's better if I just let it dry naturally, I think. I, I will blast it with the heat when it's... Uh, but I can still see some areas that are... Quite moist. I'm popping bubbles, man. Why are there bubbles? Maybe it's because it comes from a shaker bottle. What a glorious mane on that horse, right? I really like the little bird. I don't know what it is about the bird, but I feel like sculpting in a bird like that on the back of the shield is really cool. It's something I didn't even see. 
the very first time I looked at the mini, I, I didn't even notice that it was a thing because there's a lot going on, but it's kind of cool. There's also a whole lot of hits right over here. Um, like hanging off of the... Off of everything. He's got little, little dangle dangles. We need a low Z inspired mini in Warhammer 40k. Oh, no, this is definitely not a promotional stream, sis. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, yeah, no, that was from last stream that I did. I did a little sponsored segment in my last stream. I turned that on to be educate or to, to, ha, yeah, yeah. No, this is most definitely not a sponsored stream today. I am sponsored by, by you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Twitch viewers. Appreciate you. Thank you for watching my shit. Thank you. Sponsored by the subscribers. Thank you. Thank, thanks to the subscribers. <sighs> Closer to the camera, Loco. Where are the pores? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you calling me poor? That's a little toxic. What's up, Vettel? So I like this paint, but it's bubbly. Why is it bubbly? There's like a bunch of little bubble, uh, little bubbles everywhere. Hmm. Look at this. There's a fucking bubble right over here. It dried up as a fucking bubble too. I'll stipple a little bit more of it in there, I guess. Okay, that is something to watch out for though. Because I don't want it to have bubbles, believe it or not. <laughs> Dude, that has got to be the cringiest thing I've ever seen, man. I want to show you guys this. This was posted on the slash r slash watches subreddit. People that are into watches are really fucking cringe, first and foremost, okay? Let's be real for a second. Uh, super cringe, terrible. I came across this thing this morning, and I'm pretty sure this may have been written by sysadmin in Twitch chat. Need some help here. I work at a large company in sales, and I also enjoy watches, as many of you do. Recently, a young upstart was showing off the whole office the new tutor he bought with his bonus. Everyone was impressed, and some even thought it was a Rolex. He has been showing off a lot ever since he was hired, and uses his connections from his college buddies to make sales. I don't resent him for this, though, since it benefits the whole company. First paragraph, kind of cringe. It gets worse. I mentioned that I am a watch fan myself, and he dismissively said that he's more of a collector, and that he's only interested in watches that are, quote, goated. This really ticked me off, especially since I have many more years of seniority than he does. My goal is to bring an even more impressive watch in, perhaps by renting or borrowing to finally put him in his place. But before I do that, are there any watches under $1,000 that I can get on short notice that would elicit similar reactions? <laughs> this is so cringe. This has got to be one of the most cringe things I've ever read. My God. Trying so hard to out jerk each other over here. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. So I want to flex to you guys today. I hope you're impressed. This is my Casio G-Shock. I bought it on discount. It was like 90 euro. Yeah, look at this. It does a little, it's got a, it's got a flashlight. I can like have like a radio connection to the, so it, it like has the time and stuff. I have also got a, look at, look at this. I, I got, I got something over here that I really want to flex with you guys with. Look at this. It's got a stopwatch. Does the screen light up? Absolutely. It stays on for three seconds. Now you can't only really see it because the, the light over here is quite bright, but yeah. What a nerdy watch. Whoa, 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 what? What a nerdy watch. That's very mean. Because of that, I'm gonna hit this miniature with the blow dryer and I will not be muting my microphone. You guys get to hear the blow dryer in all its glory. Enjoy, gamers. I 
I, I was polite. I was polite the first couple times and I decided to mute my mic. But no, no more. All right, I think that I think that does the trick. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the content, man. More? Oh wait, some of you may. Oh god. The women of the stream in all in all force all of a sudden. Yikes. <coughs> I think the color is more orangey on stream than it is in real life. In real life, it's a little bit more... Um, it's a bit, a bit more relaxed, I think, in real life. It's... it's... Hmm. I wonder what the difference is. Uh, let me see. The white balance may be slightly off. This is the auto white balance. I never like using auto white balance, but maybe auto white balance is better. Yeah, I think auto white balance is a better job for this color. Hmm. We can probably white balance it on the tile, yes. Although I don't know how to do that on this camera. Um, if I set it to... How do I do this? Custom? How do I do this? I don't know how to fucking do this. We're not gonna do it right now, gamers. How about this? This is 5500 Kelvin, which I think is what the light is set to. I'm pretty sure this light is 5500 Kelvin. Bail, bail. Who's Kelvin, you may ask? No, it's not 5500 Kelvin. Me and Kelvin are boys. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how to use this. How do I set the white balance? My other camera has a touch screen, guys. It's e <laughs> Oh, oh, I found it. Oh, here we go, here we go. I think I set the white balance to the reflection right over there. Oh, fuck. I think I did it. Wait, this camera has a touch screen? Don't tell me it has a fucking... No, it doesn't have a touchscreen. What? Wait, it does? No, it doesn't. Did I turn off the... T Are you telling me it has a fucking touchscreen? Sorry, I'm doing it another time. Is that better? I white balanced it on the tile. I think that is better. It does? What? Why does my screen not work? Okay, I'll look into that later. Uh, okay, we're gonna do a little bit more dry brushing, gamers. I like to get my dry brush slightly moist. I dip my finger in it. It's what I like to do. Dip my finger in the water, add a little bit of water to the, oh, kind of nice. Okay, it's the same color that we dry brushed with earlier.
gonna brighten things up a little. Which is exactly what we need. How common is it for people that do like tournaments and stuff to use dry brushing, you think? No idea. Uh, yeah, you don't really need to use the, the touchscreen for cameras very often usually, but it's kind of nice for some things, you know, when it says a specific button. Gonna go across all of the mains here before we shade them with a little bit of green. Gonna add a bit of a... Uh, a bright look to the mains themselves. <laughs> what are my brush hairs? Got it. Sick look up. Well done. Okay, there's another one. I need to get my tweezers. Much like the, the hair dryer, I also stole these tweezers from Lauren. <laughs> She's got like six guys, don't worry about it. I don't think these are meant for miniature painting. I'm pretty sure these are for plucking your eyebrows. <laughs> What's up, Freshonomics? What? Is this even a fucking hair? No, it's gotta be a hair. Why does it not work? How are you doing, Freshonomics? Good morning. Oh, you know what? This may actually be underneath the primer. No, it's not. Bro, there's a fucking hair. Gotta pick the next tool for the trade. Cotton butts. Didn't steal those from Lorando. Ah, I got it. Huge. Huge! What's up, Resick? Good morning. Or, actually not morning for you, but still. I think of you as in the USA. It's 5.30 p.m. <laughs> yeah. But in the USA, it's morning, so, you know. We got that going. A little over a month and you'll be home again? Nice. Okay, that really does add a lot of highlight right there to the to the main. I like it. As the locals say, inshallah, there you go. Kind of difficult to jam my brush in between here. I would like to add some tiny highlights if I can. Brightening the skin back up. Shading and highlights, shading and highlights on all of the skin, all of the time. It works now.
Thank you, man. Yeah, I'm very excited for this one. It is a really cool mini. I just hope I can do it justice, you know? That is the main thing. Because there's a bunch of people that have painted this mini. And it seems like it's a lot of... Um, well, obviously it's a lot of casuals too, right? Like myself, but this is a popular mini, it seems, for competitions. So there's a lot of really high quality examples out there of people that have painted this one. If you look around on the social medias, there are some people that do an amazing job on this guy in particular. But hey, that's okay. It's nice for inspiration and for comparison. People like horses. People do like horses. When you think about it, horses are kind of like goats, but different, you know? And people like goats. People like horses? Absolutely. There's actually Dutch television shows. Like these dating programs, you know? And there's one theme that I have noticed, especially from people from like the southern part or like the eastern part of the country. During those dating shows, it is very common for the Dutch guys, right? Whenever they describe their perfect partner. To specifically mention and I've heard this dozens of times, that they do not want horse girls. Now, I don't know what that means. I don't even know, like, is it that bad? I have no idea. But from what I understand, there is a lot of people out there that really love horses a little too much in the eastern part of the country. And the, yeah, I don't, I don't know what that means. No, I do think they want centaurs. I, I, I you know, centaur for sure. No, it seems specifically, uh, I don't know what it is about horses. I've always wondered this, because I've heard this many times. What's wrong with horses? What is, what is wrong with horses? They don't seem to have enough time for their boyfriends? How much time do horses take? Is your if you have a horse, is your entire life now horse? It's a lifestyle? Mmm, so you're always going to be secondary to the horse, I guess. It's definitely a thing outside of the Netherlands, too. I can imagine, yeah. But I don't really watch, uh, you know, a ton of television in the first place. So my knowledge on, like, German dating shows is... <laughs> it's pretty... It, yeah, it's common in the Midwest in the US as well. It's a pet that can cost 20,000 euro. I don't think it's so much the money. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, there we go, dry brush it. I think we're getting somewhere, gamers. When I was living on the West Coast in the United States, it was a big thing, yeah? If a girl says I own a horse, I don't care how pretty she is, I'm leaving? Really, Brusik? The thing is, the, the part of the country where I live, if somebody says I own a horse in, in this section of the Netherlands, it means they're fucking rich. <laughs> like, it's not just the cost of the horse, okay? It's also very much so. <laughs> the land. And like you need, I guess you need people? I'm not sure. Like, do you take care of a horse by yourself? I have no idea. But that's what I picture, but maybe it's different. A horse also needs a lot of time and maintenance. So you're saying it's different than a cat. Okay. Cats also need a lot of time and maintenance. Everybody loves cats though. Other than allergic people. AKA weak people. You know what I mean? Okay, no, no, no. A lot of people, 
A lot of people rent a stable, but you still have to put in the time for the horse and the stable as maintenance. It's usually part of the agreement. I see. I don't know anything about them, but I know you can park them in the bicycle shit. I think it's probably frowned upon. Yeah. What about kids? Also needs a lot of time and maintenance? Well, I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there too. Much like horses that wouldn't want to date somebody with kids, remember me? So you're not far off. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe horses basically become kids. I don't know. <laughs> Does Loco not love his cats? Bro, I love my cats very much. Even though one of those pieces of shit broke this guy this morning. I talked about it earlier already, but like I, I, I spent so much time prepping this fucking miniature and I come into the room this morning and the sight is on the floor and the head is missing. One of them clearly managed to get a hold of my Harbinger of Decay. I had to super glue it back together. Yeah, not too happy about that part, but it's okay. All right, so what I want to do is add dirt, green dirt, to all of the hair. 